We have been partners for a while now, yet we barely know the first thing about one another. What do you want to know? Favorite color, favorite food, hobbies? Green, chili fries, collecting something called sumo slammers. All obvious within minutes of meeting you. Right. You want more personal stuff? Worst fear, first crush, distinctive body marks? Peacocks, Patty Birkenfeld, third grade, scar on your lower back in the shape of something called New Jersey. What? I read your file. Ask me anything. I'm an open book. Tell me about feedback. That book's closed. By all indications, feedback was your most utilized alien form for a long stretch of time in your early career. Then suddenly, and without explanation, your use abruptly ceased for good. Curious, no? No. And I don't want to talk about it. I didn't use them that much. I would very much like to see this feedback form of yours, Ben. Why will you not show them to me? Need I remind you that partnership is based upon mutual trust? And keeping secrets is detrimental to that trust. We need to find malware. Slow down, Ben. You don't want a repeat of what happened to feedback. And what exactly happened to feedback? You never told your partner? Ben! He's... I've got it! Magister, how did you... Girls are weirder than any alien. I am especially troubled by romantic comedies. Yeah, not my favorite. It seems when humans fall in love, they lose their ability to walk. They're always tripping and falling down, usually in water. Rook, it's just a movie. Though, I have read that love affects the same area of the human brain that is linked to insanity. That actually makes a lot of sense. But if someone had explained the situation clearly in the beginning... That's just not how movies work, okay? Security! Shut down all elevators! Ben, in those movies, why does nobody ever seek professional help? Dude, after we catch the psychopath? <sighs> they just seem so troubled. There is Animal. And a large albino gorilla. Actually, that's also Animo. I fought him way back, um, in the future. Ah. Who is the other person? I knew it! Squirrels pretend to be harmless, but they are really just waiting to be mutated into muroid-like killers! Sure, blame the rodents. Unless you could, I don't know, make them forget what's happened? A blow to the head makes a human forget things, especially when it is a wealthy person falling off a yacht. Now that's only in the movies. And television. And in real life, a bump on the head just gives you a concussion. I see. Those poor actors. Also, Animo coming back from the future again? Now, does that mean that everything was different until he came back? Or there was a world where he didn't come back that doesn't exist anymore? Or what? See, because it doesn't make any sense. Time travel, Ben. It never does. But if someone had explained the situation clearly in the beginning... That is just not how the universe works, okay? What did you use on them? Just a little fluoromethyl hexafluoroisopropyl ether. Which... Induces short-term memory loss. And that's why he won't remember how this all went down. Excellent. Now we can return them to the headquarters. Makes perfect sense to me. And me. Whoa, Rook! Where did you learn to play soccer? At the Plumber Academy. You really went in for the electives, huh? He's a collector. And I've dealt with collectors before. Perhaps we should do something to save Simeon. Nah, he'll talk his way out of it, eventually. I, uh, <clears throat> I want to thank you for the assist. Not to worry. Gwen is only attractive by human standards. Um... It's true. I've seen... No comparison. I am sitting right here. So you... Gwen's like what? An orangutan with glasses? <laughs> Not when you can have an original Ben 10 t-shirt. <laughs>